is quite profound And I'd like to take five minutes sitting there, right there I'll tell you how we made a blog that simply ain't so rare Texas town, I was born and raised, surfing YouTube is where I spend most of my days, without a doubt, hear me out, you know what I'm talking about, all shooting some b-blogs with the Michael Tools, wrote a couple of songs, most of which are no good, flying in the bubble makes you seem for good, I filmed with one guy in light and my mom come and she said, Seriously? What? <sighs> yeah, I could throw something together. Tennessee, here we come. <laughs> Goodbye. We've been on the road for three hours. We've been following one guy the entire way, and he's a beat. He's in a white minivan um, with bumper stickers on it. And he speeds up really fast and then he'll slow down. He's wearing a flannel shirt. And he's wearing a flannel shirt. Don't rock. <laughs> and he looks like an elf. Huh? He looks like an elf. An elf? What? He looks like an elf. He looks like <laughs> You're right. He looks like Al from Tool Time driving a minivan. Cracker Barrel. How many have you seen? Eight. And they're extremely like, packed. With the flip, like, do they get free alcohol? No, they do not get free alcohol. They get free coffee. Really? For all you carbaholics out there, this truck is for you. It says healthy life. Bread is the answer. <laughs> I promise you, it's not. Okay, so you know when you watch reality TV shows and um, they always have the like long segments where they show people who um, are funny because they're not very good or they dress up really crazy or something. Um, well, and like you laugh and make fun of those people, like on American Idol. And then you try to go and get on one of those shows and you're like, oh shoot, what if I'm one of those people? We've come across a couple of crazy cities like Milan, like Spain, isn't, oh that's Madrid. No, there's a Milan in Europe. It's Friendship, and... Oh, what was that? Arcan, Arcadelphia. Yeah, Arcadelphia. Arcadelphia. So apparently we're on our way to auditions. Um, and like I just said, I, I'm thinking Ashton Kutcher's gonna be there or some no name. But there is no more punk. This is the beginning of the season. This is the first... Is it? The first show. Are you sure? And if they're not... You're wrong. I think it'd be a good idea. Now would be the time. Shit. Here's the thing. We're going to Legally Blonde audition. I'm not wearing any pink. We go to the zoo. You can't be put in that one. I have a feeling this audition is going to be kind of like a zoo. Tires for my new truck. All these people are going to the audition. Holy cow. What am I really up against? Sing out, Louise. I think rendition into the, the uh, Star Spangled Banner, but I think that girl last night did a great job. Star Spangled Banner. And that, was, that awesome. was awesome. This is the theater. Ish. We are an hour and a half early. Minivan. Maybe you're supposed to get there early. Oh, why can't we see? Okay, the minivan right there. Typical stage mom. She's well, like, I seriously think this is a kindergarten. Because if you look in the windows, there's like arts and crafts. She just looked like she worked out. Her shirt was all sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> it's Laura Bell Bundy. I'm not kidding. 
me. No, Jennifer in the back. I can't think of any guys' names. Or Faye and um, Andy Carl are holding hands. Oh, he's carrying pool sticks. Where are we? She's huge in Japan. They have something. What are you talking about? They beat eight playoff teams. I thought I was recording for the past like five minutes and I haven't been recording. So now I'm going to feel really silly saying all these things that I just said five minutes ago. But um, we showed up to the audition and uh, there was eight people and I thought, leave non-equity alone. They are humans. <laughs> Like 50 more people showed up and I thought, really, Ivy, what are you doing here? And then like 25 more people showed up and I was like, screw this, I'm leaving. And so I walked into the audition room and I auditioned and then I left. It was a, a retirement home, so old people, I mean, not old people, but people that live at retirement homes don't care if it's in key. And I can't sing if with a piano, it's on key. I can't sing in key. The power went out for about 15 minutes. Um, so they were going to bring lanterns in and they moved the real... They wheeled this piano, rickety old piano, out into the holding area, into the green room. I sang, it went well, and then left. And the contrary that our other hotel had no artwork whatsoever, there are five pictures of Elvis in this room. Elvis Presley. That's probably right outside our hotel, actually. Hip's picture? Yeah. Smiley Elvis? And uh, sweaty Elvis. He's kind of doing a minute hand, if you can see. Everyone was wearing pink. Okay, almost everyone was wearing pink. Even the casting directors were wearing pink. Even the people in the lobby of the retirement center were wearing pink. I'm thinking that we're going to be seeing Cheyenne Jackson walking around or Jen Gambatese. One of the things that I wanted to maintain during this trip was to not wear any pink to the audition. However, I realized that I have a lot of pink with me on the trip, such as and my hat. All right, so we're outside our hotel, and there is these cutest signs. I'm all shook up. One other pink bag, my toilet bag. Okay, we're walking up to Elvis' house. Hey, hey, I'm all shook up.